Hello again, everybody. Adam Smith with my guy, Jeremiah Holloway. The Inside Carolina crew is here uh, at ACC kickoff in Charlotte, North Carolina. It's the annual preseason event that they have. It lets you know that football season is right around the corner. Uh, Tar Heels open training camp in just a matter of days. And we, have, we, we followed the guys as they made the rounds today here in Uptown at the Hilton. Um, you know, UNC didn't lack for represent, representatives. They brought five players uh, along with, with Mac Brown. And uh, we're actually sitting here, if you, if you can use your imagination, uh, this is the same very spot. They just concluded uh, their breakout room interviews where Connor Harrell sat right beside Max Johnson. They had the two quarterbacks here who were competing for the same job, <laughs> and they didn't get their own table. They were just sitting side by side. So it was kind of a, a bit of a surreal thing. You couldn't really uh, ask one guy about the other guy or about how the competition is really playing out without getting sort of <laughs> the same answer. Uh, but that, that was one of the things that, that sort of struck me. You had – Cayman Rucker at his own table, Mac Brown at his own table, and Maureen Hampton at his own table, Power Eccles at his own table, but the two quarterbacks were sort of <laughs> stuck here side by side, arm in arm, linked together again. Um, you know, I don't know if that was one of the impressions you had, Jeremiah. What were some of your, your takeaways here from talking to the guys today? Yeah, for sure. It was a very fun day. We got to actually ask some of those guys about their, uh, you know, their sense of fashion as well. Yeah. You had uh, Connor Harrell, who sat right here, like Adam said. His dad actually put together his suit because his dad actually makes clothes, and then he actually made one for Cayman Rucker yeah. as well. Um, you know, Marion Hampton had a nice uh, number 28 chain on mm. that he had. He said he had it since his freshman year. So Very and, shiny, I thought. Very yeah. shiny, very very eye-catching. Very noticeable yeah, change yeah. for sure. Uh, and uh, Adam mentioned we had five players. We did talk to five players. They actually brought us six. They had uh, J.J. Jones was, uh, you know, walking around here with his Carolina blue on and things like that. So, uh, but it was a very eventful day, you know, just because of the fact that North Carolina is coming in. Uh, everyone's not exactly sure what, you know, the team is going to do. One constant that they do have that I do think that they can lean on is Amari and Hampton. Certainly. And we both, you know, actually had the opportunity to talk to him earlier. And, you know, he wants to add some versatility to his game to kind of show what he can do at the next level. Mm -hmm. One thing that he was talking about was being able to, you know, catch out of the backfield a little bit more, having more opportunities mm -hmm. to do that. He actually likened it to a Christian McCaffrey, uh, you know, type style. Um, and Adam, uh, we were talking a little bit before we got on camera, was saying that he did want to get to that 2000 yard mark. He threw a number out. I mean, he, he threw did. out, the guy rushed for 1500 yards last year, which was, mm -hmm. you know, he led the ACC. He was one of the leading rushers in the country, yeah. uh, all American. And he said he was <laughs> gunning for 2,000 yards this year, which I thought yep. was pretty pretty uh, lofty number to put I mean, out 2, there. 2,000 yards, and I mean, we're talking about 13 games, really. Right. Uh, you know, if you get to if you do get to that bowl game, uh, so uh, he's certainly, and you know, in myself talking to him as well, uh, you know, one thing he was, you know, talking about was yes, that versatility, but you know, also the ability to you know get stronger and things like that. And I think um, without having you know a guy like Drake May that threw as much as he did, he will get more touches. So maybe it's 2,000 yards. Of total offense, maybe it's I don't know, but hey, you know, it's they'll uh, take it's, it, they'll take it <laughs> if they get it. If they get it, they'll absolutely take it, yeah. And I mean, who's going to be handing the ball off to Amari and Hampton? Who's going to be throwing the ball to him out of backfield? We do not know. Uh, I guess that's all going to get settled uh, in training camp that's coming up. The UNC gets going with that on Monday. Um, you know, I, I it's it's an interesting thing that's going on. You know, you talk to, to Max Johnson and Connor Harrell. And uh, you asked him about the Jacoby Criswell factor, who, who UNC got out of the transfer portal late yeah. in the spring. And, you know, Max sort of said, well, yeah, you know, we had some depth concerns at the position. You know, you talk to Cayman Rucker about the quarterback position, and he says, well, it's a three-man race. Mm -hmm. um, so is it a three-man race? Is, is Jacoby Criswell the th number three? Is he higher on the depth chart? Mm -hmm. Um, you know, I guess that all gets sorted out. I, did you, you know, we had Power Eccles, we had uh, Cayman Rucker, Ruck the Butcher here. Yep. Uh, you, what, what were some of your thoughts from the defensive guys you talked to today? Yeah, well, one thing that I think stands out about this defense is for the first time in a long time, Cedric Gray is not going to be starting sure. at that linebacker spot. Yep. But Power Eccles will. And this will be the third season that he actually starts uh, – up there in that in that linebacker spot, Charlotte's own power Charlotte's echoes here own. in his hometown, so he's yeah. right here in his hometown, yeah. and then you have uh, Amari Campbell right beside him. So he's a young guy, somebody that Cedric Gray actually spoke very highly of mm -hmm. last season. Oh yeah. Um, so in talking to Power, one thing that he was saying that he wanted to be able to do was actually, uh, you know 
work on his speed and, and work on his uh, you know game in that regard. And that's what he spent a lot of his offseason doing. Um, and I think also having Jeff Collins in there, we got to ask those guys about him in the spring. Mm-hmm. But even in talking to those guys today, they really do feel like you know that is a a defense that you know can be more aggressive. Mm-hmm. And one thing that Kamen was talking about that I thought was very interesting was establishing a standard as a defense. You know, he was talking about having you know a little bit more of a of an identity and he felt that maybe that wasn't something they exactly had over the last few years and so maybe not the identity you want maybe not the one that you had you know maybe they've established (laughs) one but you know not as early as they maybe a little substandard maybe Uh, absolutely so I think that's one thing that they're going to you know focus on one thing that Power was saying as well was that uh, a lot of times when they break their huddles they said he said that they like to break it on uh, champions so that's one Mm -hmm. thing that maybe that adds into the the culture aspect of you know they're trying to establish a bit of a culture with their defense at this point you know it'll be sort of to to wrap it up here it'll be interesting to see is that they're they're starting to 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 box things up here at at the hotel because it's been four days worth of of interviews and sound bites and and things of that nature for the preview event here and you know, it'll be interesting, I think, to see where UNC gets picked in, in the poll that'll come out. I don't mm-hmm. think that comes out till next Wednesday. Mm-hmm. But you know, the Carolina's sort of been a trendy pick the last couple of years. When you have uh, Drake May running around, when you have Sam Howell running around, right. Right. you know, a trendy pick to to maybe challenge a Clemson uh, at the top of the league. But this is a 17-team league now <laughs> with Stanford and Cal and SMU coming in, and and I'm not sure what what other people like like us that'll be voting on this thing think about UNC Mac Brown sort of on stage alluded to you know people weren't really um thinking too highly of of Carolina in the Mm offseason so uh we'll have to see how that shakes out I mean it doesn't matter where you picked obviously it matters where you're finished but um you know well I I guess we'll sign off here uh you know for Jeremiah Holloway Adam Smith uh the Inside Carolina crew John Bauman uh pulling the levers and pushing the buttons there on the camera um we'll catch up with you on Monday from the first night of training camp in Chapel Hill